Hello, I am Dr. Rakesh Sarkar, Senior Consultant Cardiologist and Electrophysiologist attached in BMWL Heart Research Center. Today I am going to speak on ventricular tachycardia. So, what is ventricular tachycardia? Tachycardia means fast heart rate and ventricular means originating from the lower chamber of the heart. As you all know that heart has two upper chambers and two lower chambers. So the lower chambers are called ventricle, upper chambers are called atria. So any rhythm which is generating from the lower chambers resulting in uncontrolled and very fast heart rate is called ventricular tachycardia. And as the name suggests, it is not the normal rhythm because it is tachycardia. So why it is necessary and important to understand? Because ventricular tachycardia is often considered to be one of the most challenging disorder and the disease of the heart which can result from various situations. It can happen in a normal, structurally normal heart and sometimes it can happen in structurally abnormal heart or diseased heart. It can actually result in a very disastrous situation which is called cardiac arrest and should be addressed as immediate as possible requiring sometimes very aggressive treatment to control it and sometimes some preventive treatment like implantable cardioverter defibrillator as a preventive or the futuristic treatment. Now apart from the medical treatment there is something called radiofrequency ablation mostly targeted to the population of structurally normal heart with ventricular tachycardia which is called sometimes idiopathic ventricular tachycardia and sometimes it can result from the scars which is often figured out or identified by some electrophysiology procedure and requiring ablation and so many other things. Now ventricular tachycardia is one of the considerably potentially harmful and disastrous situation as I mentioned needs to understand and appreciated by any of the cardiologists and for the sake of the population I just want to tell that any person who is having the potentially this disease should not get shy away to get treated by the cardiologist.